To many people associated with war or conflict, the sound of a helicopter relates to troops going into battle. To me, this sound represents the opposite. It was the sound of wounded soldiers being flown into the field hospitals from the battlefields. It was this sound that meant that I needed to donate blood at the hospital. Work hours meant nothing to the mechanics. Get the job done and get the vehicle back on the road was the priority. There was the constant reward of hearing a healthy and purring vehicle engine ready for action. It was a daily routine to have convoy of trucks travelling between Vung Tau and Nui Dat. Convoys make the sound of being busy and important. There is lots of dust and lots of road noise with powerful mechanical sounds. I was assigned to the recovery vehicle. We usually travelled at the rear of the convoy, ready to assist any vehicles that may have become disabled. I guess you could call us a tow truck. I experienced many honourable volleyball defeats handed out by the far more experienced American volleyball teams. We had greater success with our football and rugby teams against other Australian Army units. I relate the sounds of sporting victory to the sounds of machine gun fire and rocket attacks. The sound that worried me the most was silence as I sat in the bunker on guard duty. The night meant you were on constant alert with the responsibility to act upon any sound you deemed hostile or out of place. At times we were close to the ocean with the sounds of the waves breaking on the sand. Other times there was the sounds of the jungle or the laughter of soldiers relaxing or an airy quiet sound. By the end of your shift your nerves were stretched to the limits. I still react in many different ways to the sounds around me. Busy, rowdy marketplaces also make me nervous. I am conscious of a confined space and the possibility of something happening that I'm unable to control, so I desperately seek open space. Sounds are constant in my head. These are the sounds of war that won't go away. And the personal challenge is that I have to learn to live with this.